Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 3 laptop. The model for this one on the bottom sticker you can find it out. It will tell you model number N19C1 or the exact uh, model would be an A315-56-38 uh, TB. So this model, exact model, will tell you how much RAM, what kind of component that you have, but the base model is an N19C1. All right. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step-by-step -step how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM and what's the maximum RAM, the capacity that you can, how many RAMs you can have in there. All right, I made a video showing you guys how to find the maximum capacity for your laptop or your PC. I'll leave that link in the video description. It's like a 30 second long video so you can check it by yourself on your laptop you don't need any programs to find out your maximum RAM capacity and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up how you can replace and remove or upgrade all right before we get started you need few tools tool number one it will be a screwdriver set I'll get the iFixit screwdriver set always and from here we're going to be using a Phillips number zero you can get the pro version, which will include you an opening tool and to some tweezers, some extra tools, or get the basic one. And for the opening tool, I'll suggest you guys get a guitar pick, a metallic guitar picks, already suitable to opening covers and cases. All right, with these two on hand, obviously, if you want to upgrade the RAM, grab the new RAM that you have. And these are DDR4 RAMs, anyway. So we're gonna remove all the screws on the bottom cover, the one in the middle too. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And remove them and put them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content is helping you guys out to do your own service, cleaning, or upgrade for your laptop, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And you have tremendous motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, now all we need to do is to grab the opening tool, in this case the guitar pick, and you wanna stick it between the bottom and the top cover, the palm rest and the bottom casing. And you wanna twist it outward, and you wanna hear a big clicks, those, that's the sound you wanna hear, those are the clips that are getting loose. You wanna do the same thing on the sides, all the way to the back corner, on both sides. All right, to that side. And do this. You can do the sides and the front and lift it up slowly, wiggle around, and it will lose the back. But if you want to be a little more percussion, you can grab it, do the same thing on the front, on the side, to the back end. And there we have it. Now you can simply just lift it up, put it to one side. Now, down here, you can see the RAM right over here and the big battery. People are always say, okay, you know what, why don't you remove, disconnect the, RAM, the battery before touching the RAM? You actually don't need to remove the battery to upgrade the RAM or anything like that. You can just remove it as you please and put it back in as you wish without disconnecting the battery. But for those paranoid people that want to do this job, it's easy. Just remove this uh, gaffer's tape right over here. Put your two fingernails right on the jack, on the side of the jack right here and pull it towards the battery evenly and this will get disconnected. Don't yank on the cable, just make sure you pull the sides of the jack back pretty much like that and it will disconnect the battery and now you can actually if you feel safe you can do it this way. To remove the RAM, to remove the RAM is really simple all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other so like this and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle right there and when you push it down it blocks in you pull these two triggers away from each other the ram will come out in 45 degree angle you do not want to lift it up towards the ceiling otherwise you're going to crack the ram or the ram jack so what you want to do you want to grab it from both sides and slide it back in a 45 degree angle the way it came out these are a ddr4 ram this is a 2660 2000 666 or you can get 2400 megahertz but 
once you got the ramp, some people say, okay, my ramp chips are on both sides. Which side is supposed to be up and down? Don't worry about that. As long as you focus on the notch right in here, the crack right on the ramp, and the notch right on the ramp there. So what you want to do, you want to align this notch and the crack right there and slide it in in 45 degree angle. If you try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through. It, it will not match. So there is no right or wrong way. There's only one way to go in. 45 degree all the way in and then simply gently towards the motherboard and you should hear this to click. Once you got those is, uh, rod clicking, that means the RAM is in place. If the rod doesn't click, if you put it halfway through, you try to push it down, it will be really hard and it will not click too hard and the clicks stay open, they're not straight. Okay? So what you want to do, all the way in, is soft click. Once you did that, now all you need to do is to put the battery that you disconnected straight in and push it straight evenly toward the jack. Again, I'll repeat, evenly has to go through. Once you finish with that, just grab this gaffer tape that you ripped and put it right on top. There we go. This laptop only has one RAM DIMM slot available. There's no second RAM DIMM slot available. If even Windows on the task manager says one out of two, there is no second RAM DIMM, not even on the other side of the board or anything like that. So there's only one RAM DIMM available. You can, if your laptop, if this laptop supports 16 gig, you can put a 16 gig stick, 8 gig for sure you can go 8 gig, and I'm pretty sure you can go up to 32 gig stick if you want. But I don't see a reason to go 32, max I would go is a 16 gig. Alright, once you got the RAM in there and the battery connected, all you need to do, last thing, put the bottom case on top, and you want to squeeze the corner, the side, there's nothing in the middle to push, and make sure you hit those big clicks. If you see an opening, just grab it and pinch, and that should be all. Do the same thing on the front end. And the last step would be to put the bottom screw, slap it right on the bottom cover. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out through your own re uh, upgrade. If it did, please click the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws, and that should cover this video.